If you walk the world with open eyes, you will discover many fascinating peculiarities. Rhythm, order and structure are everywhere around us. This fascination for movement and structure is the motivation behind basic research and our work at Cell Networks. Our aim is not only to perform targeted research that produces a usable or predefined result, we also understand science as following new paths that have opened up unexpectedly. As we follow up on accidental observations, they sometimes reveal surprising new discoveries. This, of course, is the principle of serendipity. In the world of science, LSD is a famous example of serendipity, as well as X-rays, and penicillin, found in a petri dish that had been mistakenly left open. Even Europeans discovered America by accident. In the fields of observation, chance favours only the prepared mind, chemist and microbiologist Louis Pasteur wisely said. What he meant is that it is not enough to simply dig around in the hope that you will stumble over a groundbreaking discovery. Instead, years of curiosity and research are necessary to finally harvest the fruits of serendipity. My research group has been studying the malaria parasite for quite a while and we're particularly interested in looking at the motility of the parasite. Turns out it's very, very slow inside these mosquitoes, but it speeds up incredibly once the mosquito spits it into the skin of our own bodies. So when we dissect mosquitoes, we isolate the salivary glands and one day we accidentally squashed one of these glands and we discovered that the parasites are moving in really strange ways. We didn't expect this at all. The fascination of science. We already know that migration is a prerequisite for a malaria infection. But why do the parasites move together as a collective? It doesn't make any sense from the perspective of the normal process of an infection. At least, not for now. However, our discovery tells us something. We're discussing, asking ourselves all kinds of questions. Does this have more of an impact on the general understanding of pattern formation than on malaria? What a peculiar twist for our research. Unintentional discoveries. What seems like walking down the wrong path at first can lead to exciting new lines of research. And this suddenly makes possible what has been unthinkable before.